Hey yo together and very welcome to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Unknown. So we have to we have a lot to do in this episode. First things first. Titan armor. Okay. Another Archangel armor. Good. Then Free plasma rifle, okay. That, that's fine. Buy items, plasma rifle, heavy plasma. What? Oh, come on. Really? Gray market. Oh no, wait, what? I don't need it. Because. I can go to the barracks, take away the fancy plasma one from you. What did I just do? Titan armor. Yeah, that's fine. More health is always good. Nice. Very nice. Good. With that, I can go here, do two more heavy plasma. Okay. Combat stems, kite, kite, kite plating, nanofiber vest, heavy lasers, sniper plasma rifle. So heavy plasma sniper rifle. Okay. What I do need to do now is first of all look at that. Get another workshop, maybe. Not enough power. Ah, soon I will have enough power. Okay. Research. Let's do the mutant elite plasma cannon. Alloy cannon. I do need the alloy cannon. Okay. As if the standard muton hadn't given us enough trouble, the aliens apparently kept several of these elites in waiting for the later stages of their invasion. Yeah. Hurrah! Hmm. Are you done? Thank you. Plasma weaponry research credit, credit earned. I really do wonder what these research credit earned means. As if the standard mutant hadn't given our troops enough trouble, the aliens apparently kept all the leads and waiting for later service of service. Although they seem to have the distinct honor of serving as guards within the alien hierarchy, our autopsy of this person reveals little in the way of distinguishing anatomical traits versus the typical mutant. Aside from various improvements to their armor, the primary difference appears to be a slightly enhanced intelligence, which makes them more efficient, effective combatants. Combat Combatants, whatever. The details surrounding this creature specific combat capabilities should be available during the futures and call with her. Okay. Sectopod autopsy. Oh my goodness. This heavily armored unit is fully mechanized, though we're still not sure if it has an organic component within. I have no plan either, but it was. Wow, very strong. Advanced construction project available. Although this robot is neither alive nor sentient, it is strangely self-aware of its surroundings. We are still uncovering the functional details for the species, but from what we've seen so far, this machine is a masterpiece of technology. Based on our initial testing, we've discovered an extremely intric intricate program that's implanted in their macroprocessors. This combat control program combined with the sectorbot's imposing 10 meter frame makes for an extremely dangerous weapon. Powered by the same energy source that fuels the alien craft, these machine machines wield unparalleled destructive power. Perhaps the biggest mystery is the secret of how they are being controlled. Additional information regarding specimens, technical abilities may be available in the field of another of these mechanics. Machines is targeted in the unit and less is few. Okay. So, no alloy cannon for us. Let's begin with that one. Hmm. 
Let's have a look at the foundry. Advanced repair. Okay. I don't know what the advanced construction does, but... I don't know. It doesn't sound very good. Okay. The laundry is already warmed up. I'll make sure to notify you as soon as production is finished. Yeah. No, okay. Whatsoever. How long until we get the uh, power generator? Not too long, okay. They wanna have plasma rifles? No, not now. Because I have enough money. I do have enough money for the new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. That's good. We're always glad to have more help down here. Okay. So, there we go. There you are. Tactical, do we have an eagle over these coordinates? Recon satellite Delta 2 is just coming into line of sight now, sir. Coming on screen. Nothing. No, that's impossible. I know it's there. Switch to thermal. Hello. Give me subsurface. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Re-establish comms with all the available ground. Think of what we might find once we get inside that facility. Imagine what they might be doing down there. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Yeah. Okay, we found it. Now, how do we get inside? I thought you'd never ask. Uh huh. The methods involved in creating these crystals an organic machine capable of complex communications. We could spend years studying this technology. Yeah, but we don't have years. So, skeleton key available for manufacture. Analysis of the alien shard has revealed that it is indeed organ organic in nature, although not alive per se. Somehow it continues to resonate within a specific range of the uh, electromagnetic spectrum. Despite several attempts at disabling the alien known as the outsider, each was met with the same result, the target dematerializing within an instant. With no explanation for this phenomenon, the research team was left with little to study in terms of the outsider itself. However, having now analyzed this chart, it seems that may not be the case. In an effort to reduce any potential interference from known terrestrial signals, we place the shard into the harmonic dampening chamber, a device conceived of by Dr. Shen. Uh, with outside noise brought to a minimum, it took little effort to detect a very distinct signal. The source, our shards, hum. hum. While we have a number of theories, both the research and engineering teams seem to be in agreement. The shard itself is acting as some form of communications relay. Although purely speculative, we've also considered the possibility that the outsider itself is merely an extension of the shard and its function. Dr. Shen believes with sufficient time he may be able to develop a device or key that mimics the shard itself, giving us a means to locate the source of the signal. Okay. I can't do anything with those light plasma rifle. Why would I need that? Plasma cannon, guide diffusion, okay, whatsoever. I can only imagine what the aliens might be doing in an underground facility. I've got yeah. a hunch as to how we might get into that facility. Just give the word, and I'll begin manufacturing the key immediately. No, not yet. I do want to have one more UFO. Commander, we can begin working on a way to access the alien base yeah. as soon as you give the word. But not for now. 
Oh, wait a second. Um, build facilities. Get the workshop. Yeah, there we go. So that's fine. I don't need more satellite nexus. I don't need anything here. Okay. Lightning is back. Improved med kit. Come on. Medium, large scout, Nigeria UFO 9. Demon! Time for you to strike hard and fast. Okay. Good one. Nice. Light damage. Send Sky Ranger. So because I don't. Oh, okay. Those are the new ones. Aatrox, Cube Crasher. Yeah. Let's let's. No, wait a second. I think. Yeah, Connor, you need the Titan armor as well. There you go. I think it's better than the skeleton suit, right? Or the carapace armor should be better. Health 10, resistance, health 3, Titan armor is the good one. Archangel armor, okay. So let's see. Titan armor ready. Wait a second, then you get that one instead. Those are the heavies. Okay, those got Titan armor as well. Good. You get the Titan armor as well. I think that's looking bad. I do like that more. Oh, I don't have uh, plasma pistols. That's that's a shame. So and I do have the Archangel armor for now. And I can't get uh, the pistol, right? Plasma sniper rifle, plasma rifle, laser plasma, heavy laser, no. Somehow I skipped the plasma pistol, but that's fine. So that should be nice. I got sniper, support, two heavies, two close combat guys. But let me think about it. I do think I need the lightning in this mission as well again. <laughs> yep. And caps lock gets instead of the alien grenade now the... oh no. The arc thrower? Maybe! Let, let, me, let me check that because... He... Yeah. I think that's good. Alien grenade, alien grenade, alien grenade, all good alien grenades. That should be good. But I still will take lightning. Sorry, Cube Crasher. Not this mission. And sorry, Bruce, as well. There we are. There you got it. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. Okay. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Let's see. Oh, there is the UFO. 
I already see it. So we seem to be landing really near to it. Three, two, one, dropship has arrived. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. There it is. We'll do flight. Come on, you can fly over that location first get us some overwatch okay that's a good spot I would say uh, not the best spot not the best spot not the best spot caps That's a good spot. And Aatrox to the front. Come out, come out! Aliens! Hello! I'm waiting for you. Where are you? Here is Daddy! I don't see anything with the ship. That's I'm really wondering. I don't know where they are, but they are probably hiding. Ah, I don't get through the through the wall. That's a pity. So that means I need to get a bit closer. Let's have a look. Maybe I can see something. Come on. Nothing in that room. Okay. Where the heck are they? So, Marvi, you relocate. Wait, Connor. Okay. Connor is relocating to that tree. Aatrox, you go there. And Overwatch. Caps should be fine at that location. Mm -hmm. And Marvi, you go there where Connor was for first. Okay, not too bad. Caps, that's your job. Move in, open the door, let's have a look. Nothing. Of course. You hear that? No, I don't hear it, but I think I do know what kind of UFO that is. And I really do like do do not like it. Because it's so bad. You already can imagine what kind of UFO it is, because look at that. We got the whole map so far covered, almost, I mean, there is not much, very unlikely to be something there. We started right down here, so up to this UFO there was nothing, but now look at the shape of this UFO. We got a door here, nothing so far, a door here, nothing so far, a door here, nothing so far, so most likely, because the shift doesn't see anything here, yeah, okay, maybe it's because of its flying but I guess this this UFO looks like symmetrical so that means that this door no, look at the shape what's that so because this is still stuff of the UFO I guess all the opponents are in that area and that means so much trouble for me 
Okay. Because what will most likely be happen is that I activate all aliens at the same time. And that's not good at all. And again, nothing there. Nothing. You see? Nothing again. Nothing. But I do need to get closer to that door and cover it as best as I can. So with me I do need to get closer to the UFO which is not a good sign to have a sniper in close combat that's never good. But I can't help it that's the case here they're all hiding all those aliens are hiding I promise you they are they are scared. Yep. You hear that? Exactly. That's nowhere near good. So let's have a look. Hello. And again, nothing. You get it? It's so garbage. That's full of garbage. Oh, okay, I got the outsider. Well, that's that's fine. Bye bye. But still, that's not looking too good here. So I think I got everything covered, all flank as well. There they are! Newton's and Berserker, okay. I already caught a Berserker, I do need to catch uh, a Heavy Mutant, but that's part of another story here. So what I will try... oh no. Okay. So the shift goes there. Reload. And they are here. I guess that's good. I position myself right here, for now. So I'm covered by all of you guys, which is really good. Do we want to throw a smoke grenade already? No, I don't think I need that yet. So I separated myself into two groups of three each. Let's see how that turns out. Oh, hello! Caps lock, good job. Very nice. Aatrox, oh come on, no way, no way, no way. Ah! Don't kill or damage the UFO, please. Oh, another mutant. Will shoot? Oh, we throw a grenade! <gasps> Ooh, that hurts. But now you should be able to see it, right? There you go. 
40% chance to hit. The good thing is the ship is super mobile. And it's also very good in activating and triggering more opponents. But whatsoever. Bye bye, critical hit. I don't know, that's maybe not the best thing to do here. That could be a good spot. Nice! Oh, you missed! Uh oh, that's not good. That's very bad. Come on, please trigger the close combat! Get him! Only five damage. Okay, now. <sighs> Caps lock, you need to kill that one. So you go up to this guy and blow his shitty face off. Nice. So because of that. I'm dashing towards that location. Major Marvy goes there on Overwatch and Connor. I don't know, there is no door or anything, so that's stupid as hell. Well, okay. Let's see. If those floater can deal any damage. This one is doing its special attack ability move. Okay, flanking me, but that's fine. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. That one will be... Okay, it's suppressing Aatrox there. I got your back, Marvy! Got your back. Open the door. Back online. Needs to reload. Nice. Very nice. So the shift goes there. And on Overwatch. And you need to join somehow soon the party. So try that, go go go! Oh what a stupid gay alien. Bye bye. <laughs> oh floater, hello there. This one will die for sure as well. Are we done? Nah, come on. Easy peasy. That was really easy. Three, two, one, dropship has arrived. We didn't leave anything to chance, and it paid off. Excellent work, Commander. Thank you. Illyrium alloy. Oh, very good. UFO flight computer. Yeah, nice. Okay, so now I can start the alloy cannon. Finally, I need that one. And I can build that one. Okay. The potential applications for this sort of tech would have been limitless if the aliens had only come in peace. Yep. But it didn't. So the fusion lands get me two of those, please. Thank you very much. Okay. The foundry, advanced repair, advanced flight. Construction. Ammo conservation. I still need the ammo conservation. But I don't have enough weapon fragments, so I will wait for that one. Build facilities. Let's get another power generator. And maybe more workshops here. Okay. So let me let me have a look at the they want plasma rifles give us a lot of money, but what do I 
Thank you! Wow! I wanted to have a look first. But I think it's okay. Illyrium alloy, I, I leave it like that. So, workshop firestorm. L right, let's. Give me a second here. So, because now I can have that one. First, edit the loadout. Takes one day. Demon, edit loadout. There we go. Okay. Wait one more day. Eight thimble corpse. No, I didn't want to do that. Oh, always I do misclick. Carry on. Perfect. Commander because. Labs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. The alloy cannon available for manufacture. The alien alloy have proven to be extremely difficult to forge and manipulate for use in all theoretical designs. Mm, machining, machining, machining. I have no clue. The alloy was an arduous process, leaving us with limited options as to what it could be used for. Although we consider the alien alloy's density to benefit one that made it ideal for use as an advanced form of projectile ammunition, the material proved to be so dense that it ate directly into the weapon's barrel, making it useless after a single firing. Okay. After a number of failed attempts, we finally managed to develop a barrel sleeve made from the alloys, which has so far survived several hundred test firings during our experience. With the alloy cannon, as we've been calling it, now operational, we have had ample time to study its effects of its design. Also, similar to the traditional shotgun configuration, because of its specialized ammunition, the alloy cannon is substantially more powerful and deadly. Testing on targets made up of a modified ballistic gale, 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 gale provided pointless as the targets were completely penetrated by the alloy munitions, despite an average thickness of roughly 2 meters. Wow! Needless to say, this weapon will have a similar effect on any hostile targets our troops might encounter. So let's see, what can we do now? Nothing! Awesome! The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. Nice! Give me... Mmm! I always... Uh, only kind of one so far. So, I think I give the weapon Aatrox first. Because, yeah, the base damage 2013. Base damage... 2013, okay. The most advanced, like all shotgun variants, okay. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. What I really wanted to do is, in four hours. There we go. No, 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 no. Few ship list. Transfer Demon 4 to Asia and Demon 3 to North America. Why I'm going to dismiss this ship. Oh wait, I, I should wait. I should wait. I should wait three days. We have an incoming transmission from the council. Okay. Panic reduction, new recruit and revert. Reports indicate UN official and his associates were caught in the middle of an alien attack in South Africa. If this official is killed or abducted by the aliens, it would undoubtedly spread panic and reduce the effectiveness of XCOM. We need a squad of all soldiers to escort the target safely to the extraction point. Excellent. Okay! We look forward to seeing your progress. We will do this in the next episode. I will wait with the ship. Stand is the council report perfect. Okay, safe and exit. So. Whew, we are done with that episode. I'm done with recording today. Alright, thank you so much for watching. As always, I do hope you enjoyed. If so, leave a like and maybe a comment with feedback. As always, I wish you a very nice day. And